Hi today from Hagnau on Lake Boden. Today in the series Exponential Economy I will tell you about Shelling Point. What is Shelling Point? You will find out in the next part. See you after the break. Hi today from Lake Boden. I am on the German side and behind me you can see the Swiss side and uh, the beginnings of the Alps. Today we will be talking about Schelling Point. What is Schelling Point? At first I will tell you where the name comes from. The name comes from American economist Thomas Schelling who in 1960 wrote the book the strategy of conflict. The term shelling point is used in game theory in multiplayer games where the players don't have information about each other's moves and they have to apply the strategy without the knowledge of what other players are doing. And shelling point is said to be this strategy or this solution to a certain problem that is made with the assumption of other players' moves. In these multiplayer games with insufficient information, players respond uh, using the assumptions about what other players uh, would be doing, how they would behave in that situation. I will give you an example. There are, for example, two bikes riding in opposite direction on a collision course so if they don't do anything they would collide so now they have each of the bikers needs to make a decision to either go left to right straight straight ahead or go go right and it is they have just to assume what the other uh, biker would do because in order to avoid collision. So in the countries with left-hand traffic, they will probably turn right in order to avoid collision. Both of them would turn right. So this is the first example of uh, shelling point. Another interesting definition of shelling point is uh, that this is the solution that people tend to choose as default in absence of communication. For example, in Mafia circles, when mafiosi get called, they are given two options. Either they cooperate, uh, they give names, they talk about facts, provide uh, evidence uh, for uh, other mafiosi crimes. If they don't, uh, uh, they don't talk and other, uh, others provide uh, the information, they will be sentenced heavily. But of course, if nobody provides information, nobody gets sentenced. So in Mafia, people are taught before they testify that whatever happens, they should never provide any evidence. They should never give any names or whatever. So if nobody provides any evidence, people just don't get sentenced. And this is the shelling point. This is a shelling point in a, so to say, prisoner's uh, dilemma. And I will give you another example. Uh, let's say you are traveling and you are visiting a new town with a friend. And uh, at some point in time, uh, your friend gets lost. You just uh, lose him. You can't find him and uh, you don't have a... Uh, his phone number, her phone number, you don't have any connection, you can't call, you can't uh, message uh, your friend, what would you do? So most people would probably wait in the location where they last saw their friends, when they uh, last uh, were together. So this is also a shelling point, this strategy of assuming what other people would do in that situation, this is a shelling point, because you would assume your friend would be uh, doing the same, waiting in this location where you last uh, saw each other. I wonder what your examples are of shelling point and uh, how you can use shelling point strategy in your business, in your life. Leave a comment before this video. 
subscribe if you haven't uh, give me a thumb up or thumb down if you like or not this video share this video with your loved ones with your friends one day they will thank you for that I talk here a lot about economy about business on the highest level how the best entrepreneurs in our world think and act how the self-made billionaires of today think and act I talk also about money about cryptocurrency so if you like this video you will certainly like my other videos that's it for today from Lake Boden in Germany I wish you a fantastic day let's do something extraordinary today